I'm like Lieberman. I'm a microbiologist and clinical immunologist by training and experience. And my role in this lab will be as lab director. And as such, I'll be responsible for all the testing that we do in the lab and also uh, federal regulations compliance and quality control. I think this lab will be a benefit to the state of Hawaii because it will provide access to many people for COVID-19 testing who otherwise would not have such access uh, due to inability to pay for the commercial tests or lack of insurance coverage. I'm Dr. David Horio, a physician and pathologist and a medical consultant for the Tropical Medicine Clinical Laboratory. I consult with the lab's clients about using test results in diagnosis and management of disease. Our lab will provide additional testing capacity for COVID-19 and have the flexibility to test for other infectious diseases that threaten Hawaii, both with clinical testing and by adapting new research findings. Hi, my name is Sandra Chang, and I'm a professor in the Department of Tropical Medicine at John A. Burns School of Medicine. My role in the lab has been to coordinate activities that are required for setting up the lab, as well as staff recruitment and developing an online presence. While setting up a lab in such a short period of time has been challenging, I've been impressed with the willingness of members of the university and medical community to join our team with the goal of stopping COVID-19 in Hawaii. Hello, my name is Eileen Nakano. I am staff in the Department of Tropical Medicine, Medical Microbiology and Pharmacology at JAPSA. My role in the development of the in the establishment of the Tropical Medicine Clinical Lab was to make sure that all of the paperwork necessary to establish the lab was actually filled out properly and turned into the appropriate authorities and to follow up on any necessary questions that they had. Hi, my name is Lauren Chin. I am currently a graduate student in the Department of Tropical Medicine. My primary role in establishing this new Tropical Medicine Clinical Laboratory has been researching the different technologies currently available for COVID-19 diagnostics, as well as preparing a budget to submit to local leadership and procurement of all the associated um, equipment and reagents required to conduct those diagnostic assays. For me, the greatest challenge in establishing this new clinical laboratory has been navigating the difference between a clinical lab and a research lab which is of course what I'm most familiar with coming from an academic setting. And then the thing that I'm most excited for about establishing this lab is the potential that it has for restarting the economy here in Hawaii. So I would like to thank all of you for this opportunity to share my experiences with Aloha. My name is Darren Lerner and I serve as the director of the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program. My role was in service to our Sea Grant faculty who were deeply involved in the establishment of the clinical lab. This meant helping to develop partnerships and connect to conversations around the state. One of the things I most look forward to is the lab's capacity to meet a gap in the needs for COVID testing for the underserved and underrepresented around our state. And of course, in service to our University of Hawaii, mahalo. Hi, I'm Josh Stambro, the Chief Resilience Officer for the City and County of Honolulu. So I kind of served as the Sherpa for the city and county side of the lab. Um, worked with the mayor and the managing director who really wanted to see um, an on-island lab focused on our COVID response. And then worked with our colleagues at UH to help navigate through the processes and get the CARES funding, the $3.9 million in city and county funds to help set up the lab. And also working with the Rockefeller Foundation, who's an important partner, um, a longtime partner of the city, but was also really involved on in trying to bring this lab uh, up to speed here. So working between those three entities uh, on behalf of the mayor, managing director, making sure that our priority, getting a lab stood up on this island to serve the local people um, of Oahu uh, was enabled by the CARES funds. Uh, so I got to work with my colleagues, uh, Dr. Alagado uh, and others over there at UH to make sure that we were able to move as quickly as possible to bring this to fruition. Aloha, my name is Katie Hinson and I'm extension faculty at the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College program. And as extension faculty at the University of Hawaii, that means my role is to act as a bridger 
connecting the research that happens at the university with the people on the ground, in the place, community members or decision makers who might be able to benefit from that research or contribute to the research. And my role as part of the Tropical Medicine Clinical Lab team has been as part of the community liaison team. So during these sort of initial foundational phases of the laboratory, that's meant I spend a lot of time helping to establish and solidify and grow partnerships with different organizations or individuals who might be able to benefit from the services of the lab um, or help us provide those services. People at community organizations, um, government entities locally, or even potential funders. Aloha, I'm Jarrett Hedges, Dean of the John A. Burton School of Medicine. I want to thank you for spending some time with us and hearing about the COVID testing facility that is being set up here at the John A. Burns School of Medicine with the support of Rose Alligato from SOAS and Vivek Nurekar, the Chair of Tropical Medicine Medical Microbiology here at the John A. Burns School of Medicine. We think the work that uh, these faculty are doing to reach out, help the community in terms of making timely diagnoses, and also establishing scientific studies that will help us make earlier diagnoses and perhaps uh, have less um, cumbersome testing uh, techniques that will help keep the people of Hawaii safe. So thank you for watching and we hope that you learn a lot.